easy it is to make a super delicious strawberry pie. Have you ever had a strawberry pie? If you haven't, you're in for a treat. Here's what you're gonna need. Now, already I have a pre-made pie crust that I got in the freezer section of my local market. I have it in the oven, okay? So you're gonna need one or make your own homemade pie crust. Fresh straw batteries, you're gonna need you're gonna need some strawberry glaze, just one container. You're also gonna need some powdered sugar, some vanilla extract, and some sugar. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this amazing fresh strawberry pie. Genial. Hope y'all are having a great day today, and if you're not, hopefully I can brighten up your day with this beautiful strawberry pie. Have you ever tasted a strawberry pie? Or have you ever been to your local market and you saw in the bakery section this gorgeous strawberry pie? You never tasted them? They are so delicious. I always like to say they have such a fresh taste. They're not too sweet, almost like a palate cleanser. Dessert that you want for summertime. So the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and get your pre-made pie crust into the oven and get it nice and golden brown. If you don't wanna use a pre-made pie crust, feel free to make your own homemade. Okay, so that's in the oven. We got some gorgeous strawberries. Always wash your strawberries off, okay? So now I'm gonna take the stem off of course and we're not going to slice these we're going to more so dice them because we want big chunks of strawberries in your strawberry pie just like that when i talk about washing your strawberries off like no kidding i'm not kidding they say they'd be finding some stuff in these strawberries i'm always sure to really wash off my strawberries are you kidding me all right there we go just like that nice big chunks these strawberries are super fresh and they're so sweet. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait for dessert. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of this as soon as this recipe is done. So let me show you my pie crust that has cooked for about, oh, I'd like to say about 20 minutes. It's nice, beautiful golden brown and it smells so buttery. But one thing you must do is let your pie crust cool down before putting your filling into Let's your go ahead and macerate our strawberries. And what you do when you macerate them is we're going to put some sugar into our strawberries and make them nice and sweet. Okay, so you put as much or as least sugar as you would like to put in. And honestly, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. If you don't wanna put the sugar into the strawberries, that's fine. And the reason why it's fine is because we're gonna use this amazing strawberry glaze but i like to give it a little bit of a little bit of sugar a little help okay so this is a little less than a half a cup that i just put on and literally like right before your own eyes this will make almost like a little strawberry juice in the bottom of these strawberries let the sugar coat the strawberries just like so in this manner we're going to put a small splash of vanilla extract great flavor here. Once you can see that the sugar crystals have dissolved, then we'll come in and put our strawberry glaze, the whole container, on top of these strawberries. Let's do it. Let's dump the whole container. Up. Look at it. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. I don't know about you all, but I love strawberry glaze. I can just look it right out the bowl. I, I'm not going to, but I could. <laughs> That's how good it is. Get it all out of this container, save your container. All right, look at this. <gasps> Mix it in. This is the filling. This is the filling of a strawberry pie. Oh my goodness. Mm. Look at this. There's one thing I almost forgot to tell you all about, but it's never too late. So now I had my heavy whipping cream in the freezer just for about 10 minutes because I want it to be super cold because we're going to be making a homemade cool whip. Of course, you can use the kind in a little eight ounce container. You can, but if you wanna make it homemade, this is how it's done. You will need some heavy whipping cream. Get it as cold as you can. Let's blend this up until you can get nice, soft, fluffy pieces. It will eventually come together. Before our whipped cream comes all the way together to the soft peaks, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some vanilla extract in here and i like to use the clear kind so that we don't change the color 
of our bright, beautiful whipped cream. And then we're gonna add in your desired amount of the powdered sugar in. I always like to tell people between a half a cup and a cup, and it'll give it that perfect sweetness where it's not too sweet. Let's do it. In we go, I, and I'm just gonna eyeball mine because I know how much I want in there. Gorgeous with my powdered sugar. And then beautiful vanilla extract, a ton of flavor we're putting in there. We're gonna whip it and onto my little beater here. I'm gonna show you what a soft peak looks like when we get there. Let me go ahead and show you what soft peaks look like. Just like that. This is perfect. I, I'm sorry, but I have to. Mm, 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 mm. Are you kidding me? Now that that's done, let's go ahead and take your cool down pie crust, put your filling inside. If there's any leftover, that's good for you. Because there's definitely going to be some whipped cream left over, and I love that. Oh my goodness, this is the perfect amount. Just like this. Now it's time for the finished touch. So now, if you want to, you can pipe your whipped cream and little dollops, you know, one in the middle, maybe five around this way, so that red can shine through if you wanted to. You can just cover the whole thing like I'm gonna do. Let's do it. Oh my goodness, y'all. Once I made the whipped cream, I couldn't stop eating it. It's so tasty. Oh, look at this. You better make you some. Don't sleep on this recipe. Oh, wait. Oh, how excited are you? You should be excited. Listen, happy Labor Day to everyone out there. I love you guys. I I'm not going to taste test this because we got people coming over and I want this thing to be just as beautiful and I want that first cut to be when our family gets here. Listen, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you ain't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell the world about Jeannie Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Thank you for this meal. Amen. One more look. Make you make us up.